and welcome back to Wake Up With GNC Kids. I just want to give a shout out to Lorelai, Willow, and Sarah. Great job on your artwork on your artwork that you did with your chalk challenge. You guys did an amazing job, so high five. Also to Willow and Micah, your pancakes look delicious. Chef Mario personally told me to thank you guys because he wanted to come over and try them with you. He said yeah, you guys did a great job. And then, kids, make sure to keep an eye out for another video of Chef Mario. We're gonna have another surprise cooking show on Thursday. And then we have Lambert on Friday and our Wednesday night bedtime Devo. So make sure to check out all three of those videos. It's gonna be super, super fun. We'll see you then. And then also on Sunday for Wake Up With GNC Kids. Now let's get ready to do all our fun activities. We're gonna start off with worship, then we have a craft, and then our Bible lesson. See you then. GNC Kids, let's worship to this week's song. I stand before you now, the greatness of your renown. I have heard of the majesty and wonder of you, King of heaven in humility I bow, as your love Wave after wave crashes over me, crashes over me. You are for us, you are not against us. Champion of heaven, you made a way for all to enter in. I have heard you calling my name. I have heard the song of love that you sing. So I will let you draw me out beyond the shore into your grace. Your grace as your love wave after wave. Crashes over me, crashes over me, for you are for us, you are not against us. Champion of heaven, you made a way for all to enter in. You
Thank you. Bye. Now it's time for our memory verse challenge. So for this week, our memory verse is Matthew 6, 33. So before you turn there, make sure you have your Bibles. And for this week, I'm going to be making a crown. So make sure to get to Matthew 6, 33 before I have the chance to finish my crown. Are we ready to go? So we're going to look for Matthew 6, 33. Are we ready? In three, two, one, go. All right, I'm done. All right, I'm there. So let's all read it together. Matthew 6, 33. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. All right, kids, let's all stand up and follow after me. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. Live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Matthew 6, 33. Let's do it one more time. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. Live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Matthew 6, 33. Practice your memory verse. Now it's time for our craft. Let's go. It's time to make our craft. So for this week, you're gonna need paint, a toilet paper roll, scissors, clear masking tape, and different colored Sharpies. And you're also gonna to wanna to need a flashlight. And if you don't have a, a, a flashlight at home, you could also use your phone. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your toilet paper roll and paint it any color you want. Now, once it's dry, you're going to take your clear masking tape and cover one side of the hole. So what I did is I taped across going this way and going across this way. And now for our next step, you're going to take different colored Sharpies and do a design on top of your tape. So now that you're done, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're in a dark room. Once your room is nice and dark, you're gonna wanna pick a wall, take your flashlight, you're gonna put your flashlight on the other side of the paper, toilet paper roll, and point it at the wall while your flashlight is on. And now watch what happens. Now you can make as many different designs as you want. Have fun and be creative. All right, kids, now it's time for our Bible lesson. Our passage of scripture is found in 1 Samuel 17, and we're going to start at verse 32. But if you want to read the whole chapter with your family, I encourage you to do so. Now, this is about David and Goliath, and this is an amazing story because this teaches us how to be brave. Now, there was Goliath, he was a Philistine, and he was kept making fun of the Israelite army. He kept going each and every day outside and telling them, send someone to kill me. No one could defeat me because I'm the best and all these things. And you know what? They were so afraid of him. Nobody wanted to go up again against Goliath. Did you know that Goliath was nine feet tall? That's huge. Now David, he was at home and he was watching over his sheep. And Jesse, his dad, sent him to go send some food to his brothers. And when David got there, he saw Goliath coming out, taunting the Israelites. And he said, is no one gonna defeat him? Is no one gonna go up against him? Because nobody could defy God like Goliath is defying him. 
So David goes to Saul, and this is what he tells him. So verse 32, he goes, don't worry about this Philistine, David told Saul, I'll go fight him. Now remember, David is just, a, he's young. He didn't train in any army or anything like that. He was just bringing food to his brothers. He's the youngest out of all his brothers. All he was doing was bringing food. But David knew that Goliath couldn't defy God like that. So then Saul replies, don't be ridiculous. There's no way you can fight this Philistine and possibly win. You're only a boy and he's been a man of war since his youth. But David persisted. I have been taking care of my father's sheep and goats, he said. When a lion or bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the, t if the animal turns on me, I catch it by the jaw and club it to death. I have done this to both lions and bears, and I'll do it again to this pagan Philistine too, for he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and bear will rescue me from this Philistine. Look at that. While David was in watching over sheep being a shepherd, God was preparing him for this exact moment to be able to go out and defeat Goliath. David knew that God was the one who rescued him from the lion and bear. He had boldness. He was brave because he knew, just like he said, the Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and bear will rescue me from this Philistine. He knew that God is able to rescue. God rescues his people. But you know what, kids? David was after God's heart. David loved God so much. He worshiped God with all his heart. When he, as he was a shepherd, he would sing, play on his harp. He put God first. He made sure to know the God that he served. So we want to do the same thing. We want to learn all about God and how great he is in our lives. Because when things come up that are big like giants, we're able to look at it and say, no, you have no right to come into my life. Fears have no right because we might not be facing a huge giant, a physical giant like Goliath, but we could be scared of something like the dark or speaking in front of people or maybe heights or whatever. Fears. We don't want our fears to stop us from growing with God. So we could tell our fears to go in Jesus name, because as we learn his word, as we learn who God is in us, we become brave. Just like David was brave to face Goliath. We become brave like that because we know that God is on our side, that nothing can defeat God. So let's continue reading. I kind of spoiled the story, but I know most of you know it. But Let's go. So Saul finally said yes. All right, go ahead, he said, and may the Lord be with you. Then Saul gave David his own armor, a bronze helmet and a coat of mail. David put, on, put it on, strapped the sword over it and took a step or two to see what it was like, for he had never worn such things before. I can't go in these, he pr protested to Saul. I'm not used to them. So David took them off again. He picked up five smooth stones from a stream and put them into his shepherd's bag. Then armed only with a shepherd's staff and a sling, he started across the valley to fight Goliath. David didn't even put on armor. He was going with just a shepherd's staff and five smooth stones. This is all he brought with him and his slingshot the five smooth stones. This is it. This is what he used to defeat Goliath. Now you can't tell me that that wasn't God. That was God on his side. That was God who was fighting his battle. And David knew that. Okay, so then David goes ahead and he starts walking towards Goliath. And Goliath comes and tells him this. Am I a dog? He roared at David that you come at me with a stick? Now picture this, Goliath is there with his full armor, his spear, his sword, and David. David with just five smooth stones, a sling, and a shepherd's staff, and his, sh and his shepherd clothing. 
and he is there and he's ready to defeat Goliath. He's going there with everything that he has. He's going there and he's saying, I know I don't need a huge army to defeat Goliath because God is on my side. God is with me right now. All the time he was with me. He was with me when the lions and the bears came to attack uh, my sheep. And he is with me now when I'm about to go defeat the Goliath. And David said this to, to Goliath, you come to me with sword, spear, and gavelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord's heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Today the Lord will conquer you and I will kill you and cut off your head. And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel and everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescues his people, but not with sword and spear. This is the Lord's battle and he will give you to us. David proclaimed that this was the Lord's battle. It was his and God was going to be the one who was going to defeat Goliath. As Goliath moved closer to attack, David quickly ran out to meet him, reaching into his shepherd's bag, taking out a stone, he hurled it with his sling and hit the Philistine in the forehead. The stone sank in and Goliath stumbled face down on the ground. All it took was one stone to defeat Goliath. David was not afraid. He continually told the Israelites and told the people that God was the one who was going to rescue them from Goliath. And what happened? God rescued them. God defeated Goliath and used David. How awesome is that? Kids, if there is anything that you are afraid of, whatever it is, whatever you're afraid of, you're, you have the ability to say, go away in Jesus' name. Those fears have to go you're able to take one little stone. And what's our stone today? God's word. Take God's word and use it against your whatever it is that you're afraid of. Don't let fear stop you from pursuing God. Don't let that happen. Make sure to put God first, just like our memory verse was today and what we learned about on our Wednesday night Devo. Put God's kingdom above all else and everything else will be added unto you. Put God first and everything else will be taken care of. David put God first always. And what happened? Goliath was defeated. God has created you to be brave, to be bold. He is living on the inside of you as a child of God. He is right there with you. You have nothing to fear. Be brave. So I want you to repeat this after me. I am brave because God has created me. I am brave because God is with me. I am brave because I have nothing to fear. You are brave. God is with you. Continue to be brave. And if that's something you need to repeat to yourself whenever you feel scared, do it. Continue to tell yourself, God is with me. Take your word and tell you. Remember what we learned about? Uh, I think it was last week or a couple of weeks ago. I don't know. These days are all mixed up sometimes. But we learned about faith, right? What does the Bible say that we learned about in Romans 10, 17? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You, If you're scared of something, speak faith. Tell it to go. Use God's word as your stone, as your sword. This is what you're fighting with. Use it. Use God's word. It's right there for you. It's all in here. Everything. Everything you need is in God's word. You could find it. Everything you need is found in God. So. Be brave, just like David was brave, just like Daniel was brave, Shadrach, Meshach, Esther, all the, all the wonderful people that we learned about from God's word, they were brave because what did they know? God was with them. 
So continue to remember that. Tell yourself that each and every day. God is with me. I have nothing to fear. Amen? Amen. Awesome. <laughs> I've heard so many great testimonies of how you are being brave right now. But keep on going. Keep on being brave. And be brave for your friends also. Show your friends that you know God is with you and you have nothing to fear. And that's going to be an amazing way to tell them about Jesus. What an awesome testimony to tell your friends that even throughout a time like this right now, you're able to tell them, you know what, I wasn't afraid because God was with me. And why is that? Because I accepted Jesus in my heart and I became a child of God, I have nothing to fear because he is always with me. And that is so awesome. So continue being brave. I want to hear you say it one more time. I am brave because God is with me. Amen. Hello, GNC kids. Now we're going to pray. Okay, now we're going to close our eyes and pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day, for this wonderful time that we're having, that we all stay safe, that we that we that 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 this virus goes away soon and that no one gets hurt in jesus mighty name amen bye gnc kids